These equations are an example of a sequential circuit. So you have two flip-flops. They're both D flip-flops. That's what this implies here. One of them is labeled A and the other one's labeled B. Um, this is a flip-flop. I just grabbed it from number seven over here. It's the first one, D flip-flop, low active, set, reset. And what you'll find is D is labeled as the input and Q is labeled as the output. The second output is the complement of Q. And the way to build these is you're going to build your logic gates that represent these equations over here on the left-hand side. Uh, a is the output of flip-flop A, and it also serves as the input into this logic gate, this AND gate here. So what this represents is the output is the present state. It will go through these logic gates. These logic gates serve as the combinational circuit that feed the new state into the flip-flop. So that's how you would analyze this as present state versus new state. So the first step is build that combinational logic using your logic gates that represent these equations here. And I'll do the first one. So I have these two already. Now um, I'll do uh, flip-flop B here. So I know I need an AND gate. And uh, the output of A, the complement of the output, is also input. So I'm going to do that, right, and just try to make it look nice, readable, easy to read. And then X is an external input. So where does X go? So create your external input using your toggle. And trying to make this look decent here. Uh, and then connect the wire here. So you have complement of A and X going into flip flop B. Okay, so now go ahead and continue the process to so work on this one next. And then your external Y, remember Y is just going to be represented by this LED over here. Uh, these triangles here are the clock, so you could connect that to the clock pulse. So grab the clock, connect one, and then see if I can do this, connect the other. Well, it's not wanting to do that for me, but uh, but you see it pulsing. It goes rather fast, so just slow it down by this uh, using this slider here. And then you can see your inputs versus outputs.